This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS fundamentals course. Let's see what we have here. You can only collect nectar from flowers, but you can check any space to see if there is a flower. If there's a flower, if there is a flower under any of these clouds, the bee will need to collect nectar once. So there's only going to be one nectar. All right. Well, we'll start off just by trying to figure out what to do here. I'm just going to put down a move block and then what do we need to do? Well, I need to get nectar. But this is problematic, and I'll show you why. I'm going to step, and there's no, I moved, but there's no nectar. You can only get nectar from a flower, so that's not what we want to do. We need a way to ask the computer if the nectar is there, and that's what if statements exist for. We're going to ask the computer a question. So now I'm going to move forward and say if flower. Computers can only respond yes or no, well, true or false. So I'm going to move forward. And then I'm going to ask the question, if at a flower, if at a flower, the computer will say, yes, true, you're at a flower. And then I'm going to ask the computer to get nectar. So, sure. Boom. All right. And I'm going to reset this step, move forward. Next step. If at a flower, now the computer says, oh yeah, be um, true, you're at a flower. If this is true, I will get the nectar, and that just went to zero. If this is false, I'm not out of flower. Let's see if I'm not now. No, I'm still. But if this was false, if I was over here and not out of flower, I do not get the nectar. It does not run. It just skips this line and keeps going. So what would I want to do next? Well, I would want to move, and then I want to check again. Hey, are you out of flower? And if I'm out of flower, let's get nectar. Okay. And so step up, oh, here's my flower. So move forward. Hey, am I at a flower? The computer checks. Yes, yes, you are true. If this is true, I'll get the nectar, which I just did. And then I'm going to step up. Oh, now I'll move forward. The next line of code, I'll ask the computer, am I at a flower? And that is false. I'm not. So I won't try to get any nectar. And that's the end of my program. Well, then what would I want to do? Move forward. I want to know if I'm at a flower. And then I would. If I am at that flower, I want to get nectar. And I didn't get any nectar because I'm using ifs. Well, look at all this code I'm repeating. We only want to use five blocks. We should never repeat code. Watch. If I grab and split these all up, move forward, move forward, if at flower, if at flower, get nectar. They're all the same. So let's use a loop to do this instead. Anything that goes in this pink mouth thing will repeat so many times. So I'm going to drop this here. And I don't know, let's start with five. And that means all of this, I'll move forward, I'll check if I'm out of flower, if I am, I'll get a nectar, if not, I won't, I'll just hit the bottom and loop back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Six, seven, so it looks like seven might be better. Awesome. We did it. Let's keep going.